Hey everyone, I just got back from seeing the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. And it was okay. Now, before I get my thoughts, what is this movie about? It's basically Sonic escapes into our world and he hides in a small town called Green Hills for 10 years. During that time, no one knows he exists except for this crazy old man who calls him the Blue Devil. And one day, Sonic, he gets really frustrated that he, that he has to hide and he doesn't have anyone to actually uh, to talk to. So he ends up running around in the uh, baseball field, which, uh, which causes a blackout. Now this causes, I guess, the government's attention, and they send Robotnik to kind of figure out what this is. And uh, Sonic really is like, oh great, I messed up. Now I have to go uh, to a different dimension or world and hide. But he ends up... Uh, uh, he tries to uh, go into the shed of the sheriff and use one of the rings and to make a, a pearl, but it ends up the sheriff comes in and gets they both get stolen, and which causes Sonic to actually drop one of the rings and drops the bag of these other rings he has through the pearl, and he actually sends them to San Francisco. Now it's up to Sonic to go get it, but he drags the sheriff along with him. Um, and uh, Robotic chases after him. To me, it comes off more like a origin story slash prologue. Um, at the, well, if that makes any sense, it's a more, more best way, uh, probably a better way to say it. It's like, it's kind of setting up for the next, like they're planning to make, and uh, they want to make this big, huge, really interesting movie, but they, they think that uh, like people who aren't familiar with Sonic may be confused, so they say, okay, let's make this kind of like prologue type move slash origin movie to kind of lead them into this movie. Uh, that's what basically, to me, it feels like. It's like, it's one of those movies like, it's meh, but it's really hard to explain why. And I, but yeah, the best way is like, it's a, a lot of the moments or kind of slow bland and there was times where I like I want to pop up my phone and say okay how far in the movie are we um it most of it yeah most, most of it is boring and it's dragging it the only times where it's interesting it's when there's a battle with uh, and that's it um I do want to say that I, I think, yeah, the major problem is the story is, like, kind of predictable. It's, like, they're trying to make Sonic and the sh Sheriff kind of, like, uh, where they're going to be friends in the end. And it's, like, why, why are you trying to get them to be friends? It's weird. Maybe it's because it's predictable. It's, like... Yeah, and there's going to be a misunderstanding and all this uh, crap. It's like, that's the feeling I was getting. It's like, but good thing is, I want to say is the special effects, especially during the battle. But I kind of feel sad because the people who were doing the design of Sonic, I think they also did the special effects on this. They closed, like, right after they got done with the changes uh, to uh, Sonic. Which is sad. I do hope they, you know, um, find uh, somewhere else to work. Because they actually did a good job. Um, 
But besides that, most of it it was very, very bland. The the story was not that very interesting. The most of the yeah, most of the humans were and you swap them out and won't know the difference. Um, but I do want to say Jim Carrey did you know, a, a good job with what was given to him. The problem is, it's like, oh, uh, and I think like a lot of people are going to say, it's like he's not like, like that guy who's like, I mean, he's intelligent, but and with like, uh, really good machines, but he's not, not like, kind of like the bubbling oaf at the same time, where it's like, he doesn't, like, um, like you see here mostly in the, uh, the, uh, the games or the Sonic cartoons, like, the type of guy is like, he's intelligent, he's green machines, but when it comes to tactics, um, he's not really great, he just throws machine after machine out of the problem. And this one is, they made him, uh, Robotnik more of, like, yeah, he's intelligent, he's great with machines, but he, he acts more like, he's the only intelligent guy in the room, and everyone is the, uh, uh, beneath him. But I kind of understand, so they're trying to build up, it's like, he gets, like, after this whole encounter, he changes into like the the more goofy uh, robotic that we uh, see in the past which uh, if that's like the, their way of doing it, it's like okay that's fine let's, let's see what happens in the next movie if there's ever going to be the next movie um but like I said it's, and the, the humor of this uh I it was mostly rolling my eyes, uh, most of the jokes, um, and a lot of people that was in the theater with me, I think maybe only three or four times there was this, uh, someone laughing. And that was it. It was like, and I can't even have only one person cheered. In the uh, while watching this, it was right when uh, Tails shows up at the end. And that was it. That was that was the only cheer uh, uh, from the movie. Oh, but I knew it was not going to be like my hair academia, where it's like endless cheering or laughing. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Now would I watch this again? Maybe, most likely not. I mean, I probably would show it to my nieces. They probably get more of a kick out of this than I would. Um, yeah, I mean, this would probably, I think more you know, like kids who are starting to get into Sonic might like this a little bit more than us older Sonic fans. But I know some people were saying like, oh, this is a good movie, or you know, uh, this is really bad. I'm right in the middle, it's like, yeah, it could have been better, but at the same time, it's not that bad. I mean, it could be worse, and we could have like the original design of Sonic. Oh, uh, but it's like, if I had to kind of rate it, it would, again, like, two out of five out of me. But I don't want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you think of this movie? Was it good? Was it bad? Or was it meh? I'll see you guys in the next video.